When you're talking about value web hosting, there's three big things you need to make sure that you get. First is make sure you get the features that you need. Second, make sure you get the bandwidth and disk space that you need for your website. And third, of course, make sure you get a good price. Okay, let's talk features. Biggest thing about features you're looking for in a value web host is depends on your experience as a web developer. If you're very experienced, you probably don't need my help anyway. But if you're less experienced, what you need to make sure you look for is certain software that'll help you install some of the cooler functions of a cool website. Specifically, the big one is a control panel. Easy to use control panel is huge when you're trying to build a new website. The big name out there is cPanel. So if you are looking at a web host and they use cPanel, hey, you're good to go. That's an easy one to use. Also, the next thing you need to be looking for are these things called installation scripts. These are programs that help you install uh, more complicated software. Specifically, things that rely on databases. If you want to have users and you want to build a forum or set your site up to use Joomla or something like that. Those types of programs, those installation scripts, help tremendously because they do most of the legwork for you. The big name to look out there for is Simple Scripts. It's a very easy one to use. Also, a little bit older one, Fantistico. These are the big names you need to be looking for in installation scripts. Last but not least, make sure it's got email software and a good email manager. cPanel already has a good email manager built in. But some of the bonus features you can look for are things like automatic spam filtering and things like that. There's a couple of programs out there called like Postini and things like that. So if you see some extra email software bundled into the, the package you're looking for, you should be pretty good to go. When I mention bandwidth and storage, this is pretty critical because what's happening is the web host is going to try to limit how you use their hosting server because they don't want that much of a load on their server so they can limit you in different ways the easiest way to do that is to limit the amount of bandwidth or traffic that goes across their server so if you have a popular website and you think it's going to get a lot of hits then you need to make sure you get basically unlimited bandwidth which you can still get with a pretty good name and value web hosting also storage space you'll notice the bigger the name of web host usually the less space they give you same thing, they're trying to limit the amount of stress you put on their servers, but value web hosters uh, are willing to give up a lot more space because they want your business. So basically, the best deal you can get out there is unlimited bandwidth and unlimited disk space. Those are the ones to look for because in this competitive market right now, people are willing to give you those two even in a web hosting package that's a good deal. Last but not least, price. The price range you need to be looking for when you're talking about value web hosting is five to ten dollars a month. Anything less than that, I bet you it's too good to be true, and you're probably getting shortchanged somewhere. This comes from experience. Anything above that, well, either you're paying for a name which you're not getting everything for your money, or you're getting features that you don't need if you really need a value web host. And I tell you, I run some pretty hefty websites on value web hosts, and I usually pay in the range of about six to eight dollars a month with the hosts that I've used. Hey, if you've got questions, feel free to shoot me an email at questions at killerhostingguide.com. And anything else you need, check it out it's usually on the website I've got guides I'm building them as fast as I can I'm getting tons of emails questions for people and I'm trying to get back to you but of course if you've got questions look on the website killerhostingguide.com I'm Tony D